Oh. I'm making it. Oh. All right, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> That's why I also defending it. That's, you know that, Kara. You can just put that I know. Oh, give me a quote on that. Like, you know, like, because I think, like, for me, getting you in is really important because I think that mm -hmm. if you get in, you'll go, you'll go farther. The constitution, the constitution is being trampled on and our rights are being violated and they are using a bait and switch to have people literally surrender their first amendment and 14th amendment rights to the u.s constitution by altering the new york state constitution under the guise of just of anti-discrimination through prop one and once new yorkers if new yorkers vote in prop one they are voluntarily surrendering their first amendment rights to the care controller and custody of their children to religious freedom <clears throat> and rights and 14th amendment um equal protection and once they do that standing is going to be very difficult in any um civil courtroom because the judge is going to turn around and say well they knew it they had the information and they voted for it so who's being harmed now? And so we're going to have to wait till all these harms occur and uh, things that happen to children and women and men and whatever, families, whatever happens, right? Or till we have um, illegal immigrants voting, illegal migrants voting um, in our elections to have harm. And then we're going to be chasing our tails through the court system. And, and it's going to be something that more than likely will have to go up to the Supreme Court. Because once you alter the Constitution of New York State, it's very difficult to reverse that and take it out. Because if they will have said that the people have spoken and this is what they want. And so that has to be stopped and it has to be dealt with. Right. And my opponent, as an attorney, knows exactly what she's doing and knows exactly what's going on. And she stated last year, last week, at an event that she knows how to write bills. She knows how to write policies, not enough just to be able to advocate for what's right and wrong, but it's, it's having the ability or the, the skill of writing a bill and writing a, a law. And when she writes it, she writes it knowing, um, and no, she said that she writes a bill um, in a way to ensure that it accomplishes the goal for which it was intended.